Hey, family, I have a question. Gentlemen, you're first. What would make you live with a woman, marry a woman, and live with her, watching her go to work daily, go to school, take care of the household and the children without contributing? What is it within you that makes you think that that's okay to do? Why are so many of our men in this position sitting home, getting high, doing nothing, playing video games, behaving like a child, and not taking his rightful place in the home as the king. What's happening with us as a people? And ladies, my sisters, my dear beloved sisters, I am you and you are me, so we are the same. I am not looking my nose down on you, but I want to know why is it that you would tolerate being with a man who has no goals, and I'm not saying he has to be rich, but he has to have some type of goals. He has to have some type of get up and go because he's a man and that is his place. Why would you have a man in your home lying up in your bed doing nothing while you're breaking your neck to maintain? What example is he setting for your children? What example are you setting for your children when you allow this to happen? And there's too many couples that fit this bill. The woman is doing everything, the man is doing nothing. Why do we even decide to be with a man who has no desire to take his proper place? And why are our men so childish? It's a sad state of being and too many homes are filled with this exact type of couple. Women are not setting an example for their daughters to get men who are in a better place mentally and financially, spiritually, is most important. Because when we're in alignment with Father, you're going to make better choices because we know what he expects of us. And when you're a woman and you're showing your daughters these type of lifestyles, they're going to follow suit. They think that this is a proper way to have a relationship, and it is not. Basically, we have women raising men a second time. Maybe their parents didn't do a good job. But if you love a brother and you see his potential, you're supposed to try to push him toward his goal. But don't marry him or lay with him and make babies with him until he does it. Because there's no reason for us to think that it's our job to change a man. He has to have the desire to do what is right. Yes, we both um, can encourage the other to do better and set more goals, higher goals, and do better in life. Because that's what relationships are all about. But he has to initially know that his place as a man is not to sit around doing nothing and watching his woman do everything. That is insane. Too many households like that. And when your children and your men, your little boys and your little girls sit there and watch that man do that, that's their example. That's their first example of a man. So the man's job is to sit around and do nothing while the woman is doing everything. Why are we tolerating that? Why are our self-esteem so low that we would choose a man with no direction. A man who is not in a place to properly guide his family. Why are we choosing these types of men? Like I said, I am you and you are me. We all have our way of living, our, our, um, our way of dealing in relationships. But um, I could never see myself dealing with a man like that. Now, there's things about me that people might look at and say, I could never do that. I could never do this because that's how we are. But when it comes to a man and woman taking their proper place and proper position in a household, we know that God's way is the best way. We know that. And too much pressure is being put on women. Step up, men. And women, you need to step up too. Know your worth and demand more. Wait for that brother that's doing the right thing and brothers that are sitting around using women laying up grow up grow up it is wrong it is a disgusting distasteful thing to do what an awful example you're setting for your children and that's all i have to say today family think about it <laughs> i'm not trying to be harsh but sometimes we need a reality check <coughs> we need a reality check a lot <laughs> And we're here to check one another. Peace, love, and blessings, family.